In this video, I want to show you how to create a waterfall chart, which is what we're seeing here as an example. Waterfall chart explains how a starting value changes due to different factors, resulting in an ending value. And the trick to creating a waterfall chart is to use a stacked column chart where there's a segment below each of these segments that appear to be floating in midair. So that's the basics of how we create the concept of how we create a waterfall chart. When we go to Google Sheets to create it, notice that this is what we're going to create, so I'll just get rid of that. So notice how we set up the data. The data has to be set up in a very specific way. The first data series is the spacer. This is that invisible segment that supports or positions that floating segment. The starting and ending values is the next series. Notice they do not have a spacer because they start from the baseline and go up. The reason we need those in a separate series is because we will need to have them a separate color. Uh, Sheets does not allow you to set a color for each individual column or segment. So we have to set up our columns, our series, to be the starting and ending values, the first series we're going to show. The second is those values that are going up raising in increasing the value and the third series is the down so the start up and down so you have to position the data in the correct series and then calculate the spacer based on how big that segment invisible segment needs to be so that's how we set up the data to create the chart I'm going to select all of the cells here and say insert chart and the chart we're going to select is happens to be the default one here, but just to show you what chart type it is, it is in our columns, it's our stacked column chart. So I'm going to click on insert and here we go. So now we can start to format this chart. So we're going to use our advanced edit and we'll get rid of the title. We'll get rid of the legend because of course that doesn't make any sense to the audience at all. On our vertical axis, uh, probably a good idea to minimize the grid lines in terms of the color. So I'm going to set those to a lighter gray. And now the, a lot of the work is here for each of the series. So I'm going to select each of the series one at a time. So I'm going to select the spacer series and the color there is none because we want that to be invisible. And see, here's where we start to see those segments floating up above. Now we'll, for the rest of the segments, we're going to change the color and add data labels. So I'm going to start with our starting and ending values. And I'm going to select a color, let's say uh, I'll use this default blue, and I'll add the data labels, the value. Then I'll move on to our up value. And the up values, typically we're going to use a color that is the default green. And I'll add the data labels. And then our down values which had picked up green initially, we're going to set those to the default red and add the data labels there as well. So now we can see, and then I'll click on update, so now we can see that we have created our waterfall chart, which shows that how the starting value of 120 got to the ending value of 150 because of these different elements or components that explain that difference. Now, just like any other graph, we'll copy the chart, go to our slide, say paste, link it, and now we can resize it, make it bigger on our slide however we need to. So that's how you create a waterfall chart in Google Slides and Sheets. When you start to use a professional presentation product like PowerPoint, you'll see that this is a lot easier to create. You only need one data series uh, other than the spacer because you can set the colors individually of each of those segments. In fact, the newest versions of PowerPoint uh, actually include a built-in waterfall graph. So you don't even need to use the stacked columns anymore, although you certainly could still do that. So you have a lot more formatting options, a lot more uh, editing options as well when you use a professional presentation program.